Hey guys, so I figured for today's video, I would do a what I ate today video. As you guys know, I am losing weight. I am down about 60 pounds now, which is super exciting. I have had my numb moments. I've had my proud moments. But overall, I am striving for better health. And no matter how hard some days are, no matter how hard I want to give up, if I binge or overeat, I will never give up because this is really important to me. So just to kind of give you a little information based on how I eat. So I'm not like the healthiest eater. I have drastically changed my diet though versus compared to how it used to be. So I actually do not count calories. I don't count carbs. I don't count fat. I don't count anything. The only thing that I partially pay attention to is sodium. Normally on a day where I'm binging or overeating, I easily eat about 6,000 milligrams of sodium without even thinking about it. You know, I don't pay attention to the sodium too much because I'm eating drastically less than I used to. That automatic and naturally, it's just going to be a lot less sodium than the days where I have binged or overate. So the reason why I don't count calories or anything like that is because it is a complete trigger for me. It just, it makes me obsess over numbers. And when I start obsessing over numbers, it's, I'm done. I'm, I'm, nope. Something in my brain just does not correlate together. So I actually lose the most weight when I do intuitive eating. I know a lot of people don't believe in that. It's fine. I think it's just because I have counted calories for so long and it just never worked because it's always me obsessing, obsessing, obsessing. So triggering, so restrictive. And I know obviously you need to restrict to lose weight. That is pretty much the bottom line on that. That's the, that's the science. And I feel like by counting calories for so long in the past and like measuring my food and weighing my food, I'm pretty good at being able to be like, okay, this is a normal decent size versus, okay, that's how much I used to eat, yikes. Just do what works for you. Everyone is different, everyone. There are so many different ways of losing weight. Just find the one that mentally makes you feel the most secure. Definitely find one that works because if you're on a weight loss journey, the goal is to lose weight and to feel better and to be happier. So today I will be eating intuitively. You're going to see everything that I eat. Again, disclaimer, not the healthiest person, but this is drastically better compared to how I used to eat. And it's just what's working for me right now. So every single morning as my first meal, before I do anything, I'll have a water and a smoothie. In my smoothie, I put Chobani Greek yogurt. I use about a serving of this. I have frozen fruit with it. Today, I'm gonna be using triple berry blend, which is blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. And then I put spinach in it, which I don't even taste the spinach in the smoothie. I know spinach is very, very good for you. So if you guys don't like spinach or you do, put it in your smoothie and you won't even taste it. Like, I promise. Ta-da! I mean, this takes one and a half minutes to make. And it's super filling, it lasts a long time, and I love it. So 
So at Ruby Tuesday, I got the New Orleans seafood, which is tilapia with a cream sauce and shrimp. It's actually very low calorie. It's 320. Like I said, I don't count calories, but I do look at them because <laughs> I don't want to get anything that's like a thousand. And then I got broccoli and zucchini. And honestly, this was so filling and so delicious. So I want to share with you guys what I ate for my last meal, but I'm going to do that at the end of this clip because I want to talk about some stuff with you guys. So just hold on. Okay, so I did take a nap earlier. It's been a long day. Things just keep, you know, happening in my life. I feel like I live two lives, honestly. A YouTube life and then a real life. But anyways, that's a whole other story all in itself. So. I wanted to talk about what I ate today, kind of like how I'm feeling, if that was the right type of food I wanted to eat. I just feel like I need to go more in depth instead of just doing like a what I ate today without actually sitting down, processing it, seeing if I regret anything I chose today, if I could have done anything different or better. I like to do that because it's important that I continue making small changes in the right direction. So my first meal being the smoothie, absolutely amazing. I couldn't have done anything else. I thoroughly enjoy those smoothies. I know a lot of people are like, it really doesn't really like the smoothie because I did like a taste test moment. No, I love the smoothies. They keep me full for long. Like I said, they take a while to drink. I usually do it while I'm doing my makeup or just getting ready for the day or writing. Doesn't matter. I It probably takes me about 45 minutes to drink the whole thing because it's kind of like a drink. Like you don't just sit there and chug stuff. And then for my lunch, um, normally when I go to Ruby Tuesday, I always get the salad bar. And a lot of people think, oh, salad's so healthy. It depends on what you put on it. Majority of the time, a lot of people don't make their salad too healthy. And I'm one of those people, I put a ton of ranch. I love ranch. Ranch is one of the most unhealthiest dressings out there. And I like to put egg on my salads and croutons and chickpeas and just like a tons of like a ton of stuff and easily my salad is up most to a thousand calories so i did nope not doing the salad and we always get an appetizer at ruby tuesday didn't get one so i'm glad and then usually for my meal i don't choose as healthy i normally always get broccoli there because i have some weird fascination with ruby tuesday broccoli it is the best broccoli I have ever had at any restaurant. I've had their uh, grilled zucchini one other time and I wanna tell you guys, it is so good. So the fact that I got double veggies and they were very low calorie and they were super healthy, I'm very proud of myself for that decision. I remember I got the tilapia dish before and I never paid attention to the calories or anything like that. And when you eat it, it tastes so like not good for you. It tastes very like fattening and like there's a ton of calories. But honestly, there's not. This is the first time I've actually paid attention to that. So I feel like my choice at Ruby Tuesday was amazing. I was able to leave the place satisfied and not guilty. Usually I'll leave a restaurant feeling like crap. So for my last meal, which I actually just had, I always like to have sandwiches at the end of the night. To me, they fill me up, especially because the protein from the meat and then the bread, because the bread that I get is usually a very like hefty bread. It's not like that super low calorie bread. Um, I think it's like Sarah Lee that's like 45 calories. That never fills me up for some reason. So I get the bread that is a little bit more calories because literally it is more healthier. Sometimes it's crazy how the things that are like a little bit more calories is usually a little bit more healthier. So instead of having like two sandwiches, I like to make four half sandwiches. So what I normally do with that is I just add the smallest, thinnest layer of mayonnaise always. And then I have chicken or turkey lunch meat. And I never have bacon, but this time, like I was just feeling really hungry and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have some bacon as like a little crunch. So I went to open my lunch meat, which I just bought like literally three days ago. And I hadn't opened it or anything. And as I opened it, it smelled so gross. So gross. I was like, okay, maybe it's just my nostrils are playing a trick on me because I've never had this brand before. I looked at the date and it was expired. It was expired before I bought it. And you know something really weird? I always look at expiration dates. 
but I trusted this because usually lunch meats are very long lasting for the most part. So I was like, I don't need to look at the expiration date. This just goes to show that I should probably start doing that when it comes to lunch meat. So thankfully I had rotisserie chicken left over from the night prior. I was able to warm that up and use that for my lunch meat, which honestly was super good. So what I would have changed about this meal, I am leaving this meal with some regret. I feel like that's something that I need to really focus on per each meal. Did I leave the meal satisfied, happy, proud, or do I feel regret, guilty, shame? Those are all things that I need to pay attention to every single time I eat something. So the things that I wish I would have done differently, I wish I would have only made three halves and I wish I would not have put bacon. So that would have drastically lowered the calories. I wouldn't have had the guilt. In return, I would have ate less chicken. Is it the most unhealthy meal? Probably not, but it's still like not up to par for me. And I feel like when I have the lunch meat, like I don't use the bacon. Another thing I wish I could have changed about today is I wish I would have upped my water intake. The only time I've had water today has been at the restaurant and I had one and a half glasses of water. And I could definitely tell because I am having some fluid retention, which is not good. Like I can tell I'm retaining water, like in my hands, my feet, my legs, even my face. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this, what I ate in a day. It is very different than the ones I used to do because I literally just showed you what I ate and that was that. But I wanna focus more on what I'm eating and not actually just like, oh yeah, I'm eating this. I wanna like dive into it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one, bye.